Our journey to the region of St. Sebastian began in Canada. I'm a carpenter and I love wood. I like its character, its strength. In Toronto, an artisan friend of mine told me about a place near St. Sebastian where they build traditional wooden boats. And so we traveled to Europe, looking forward to one thing in particular, visiting Albaola, a traditional shipyard nestled in a narrow fjord in Pasajes de San Pedro. It was amazing to see the craftsmanship of the carpenters roughing down each frame, creating each piece, millimeter by millimeter, to build a replica of the ship the San Juan, a 16th century whaler that sank off the Labrador Peninsula in Newfoundland. We listened to its story, stroking the oak frames. It was a trip back in time. We also went to Zumaya to meet a group that restores traditional boats and skiffs. We sailed across the calm sea inlet in one. The large ships stood in sharp contrast to our fragile craft. Afterwards, we visited their workshop and imagined those vessels chasing the huge whales spotted from the lookout points. They also told us about the iron tradition in Gipuzkoa, and so we decided to go to the Valley of Iron, Legaspi, Urechu, Zumarga, to visit a medieval ironworks. We were surprised how technology was used at that time. Water, fire, and iron. The forgers gave us a Chistora sausage brochette with a taste of history. And we had a go at playing pelota on an iron fronton court. In the afternoon, we visited Chiida Lantoki, the workshop where Eduardo Chiida produced his greatest sculptures. We learned. We felt the strength of his materials. Iron, the stones he used to make his lithographs, the felt in his gravitations. It was amazing to feel the hands of the genius. On the way back to our country guest house, we called in at a cheese factory where they make Idiasabo designation of origin cheese with milk from their own sheep. My kids loved it, and we did too. The following day, we explored a dense beech forest near Aiskori Natural Park. While the children were playing at rowing in search of whales, my wife and I silently remembered our time in an amazing region, inhabited by a people with an ancient culture that values nature and craftsmanship as much as we do.